name is Trevor. And my name is Sean. And I have a very important and special announcement for all campers and all leaders. There is somebody in our midst at this very camp who deserves the world's biggest trophy. A trophy that's 10 feet tall, weighs two tons, and made of 100% dark cocoa chocolate. But who, in what way, and what type of person is esteemed and honored so high that they would receive a gift like this? <laughs> Not a high school student. Heck no. Not a youth pastor. Gross. Not even a worship leader. That'd be weird. This person is above and above and above. One sheet. And above and beyond. And, and agile like a kitten or a meerkat. Limber like timber. A man who's a trainer of, of all types of horses. Small. Large. Pygmy ponies. A man who's, who's famous internationally, primarily Japan. A master figure skater at 12. He knows, in fact, he's related to the guy who figured out how to make the space needle rotate. He's an heir to a, the fortune cookie folding throne. He once opened for the Christian rock band Newsboys. He rescues stray cats and nurses them back to health using an eyedropper and goat's milk. He bases his life on Christ while he plays the bass guitar. He's a connoisseur of exclusively red meat. He's a stuntman. Oh, and he's basically created every video at camp for the last 10 years. The man's name is David Sproul. Before you were even like seven, years old. He was at camp creating videos. In fact, let's take a little look. Let's take a look back to when you seniors were 10 years old and let's see where this all began. 2006, the one and only ninja fight, Dragon Alley. Two thousand seven. The Rock Church, Church of the Rock Climbing, Church Rock, Wall Church. Check it out. Hey there, and welcome to the Rock of the Ages, Rock Climbing Youth Church of the Rock. I'll be Hank McGinnis. This is my cousin Skip. Howdy. And we are the senior pastors here at the Rock of the Ages, Rock Climbing Youth Church of the Rock. You should come on down because Jesus is tough. Do you remember when, when the groundbreaking Foursquare rap was created? Do you remember when we we tried all these video ideas? And kids didn't understand it. They thought they were just stupid. And so yeah. at the end of camp, they we had to just... go to desperate measures. It was desperate measures. Dave pulled out the craziest idea. Yeah. And it was just a bunch of potty humor. Hey, but who could forget Jerry the Jerk? That was classic. Boom, 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 boom. Jerry the Jerk. Jerry the Jerk, Jerry the Jerk. 2008 was the most historic year that paved the way for, for 2009. 2009, the beekeeper, the greatest and most creepiest <laughs> Sean Gasparetti we've ever seen. And the beekeeper. 2010, we got Limbo. But who could forget Limbo? Limbo. Limbo. What are you doing with your life, Brock? I got nothing else going for me. Then you've got to dip deeper than you've ever dipped before. I will. Generico. You 
And then we decided, hey, Foursquare app, the first one was so great. Let's do a second one. We have the technology for it. We have the skill for it. And uh, here it was. Is. In 2013, we introduced a new character, Sasquatch. That's a microphone. <laughs> but seriously, Dave Sproul has revolutionized the way that we see comedy in late night at camp. He has honestly been uh, one of the biggest servants to us at camp. He's been behind the scenes. He doesn't even want to be known. He's probably totally surprised about this video in the back. But Dave, we love you. You're one of our greatest friends and you've served this camp for the last decade so well. We're sad that this is your last year, but it, it, it's incredible the amount of videos. Over, over 50, 70 videos last 10 years, I mean, what else? Oh yeah, and, and the crazy thing is he's done them all within one week of camp. So he's cranking out content like you wouldn't believe, working so hard just to make you laugh at like 10 p.m. at camp. It's absolutely amazing. We're so thankful for a guy who would do this and who would train up guys underneath him to, to take the baton yeah. on beyond here. So Dave, way to go, man. You deserve a lot of honor to pat on the back. Yeah, and uh, if you see Dave on your way out of late night tonight, give him a high five, give him a hug, give him $5. He deserves it. And, uh, and, and he can't run away. Dave, you have to sit in the back and let everyone high five you on the way out tonight. And sign your arm with a Sharpie. Yeah. Love you, Dave. Love you, Dave. You're awesome. You bet!